Hello, I'm Tomas, and today I would like to show you uh, Microsoft SQL library for Schneider PLCs, which are developed in Microsoft uh, uh, in SO machine, which is uh, software derived from Codesys uh, 3.5. You can uh, find it on this web page plc to sqlcom So click here uh, for download. Uh, the Microsoft SQL library package here show the folder extract here in this folder you will find the compiled library which uh, you need to import to your SO machine also documentation where is user guide for this library here is mentioned the uh, basic product des description, uh, the function blocks, uh, also functions, uh, list of error, uh, licensing, uh, how to install it, and example application. So today we will show how to run the example application on uh, Modicon M241 from Schneider. So for it we will open SO machine uh, B4.1 from the library which we downloaded. Yeah, and here uh, there is an example, so we'll open M241 test. But firstly, we have to load the library to library manager. Yeah. Start. So window is here. We have to go to library repository. In here. Add install, find the compiled library and press open and will be automatically installed here. So now we can close it, we can go open PLC logic, library manager. This is Microsoft SQL library for SO machine. And first thing what we have to set is global parameters. In here we are able to change the number of columns of uh, structure result, also number of rows in structure result, uh, also length of data array in for each row, also length of the byte array which is used for uh, internal values for sending and receiving data over the TCP and also the length of the query so each string has 255 uh, characters uh, and array has uh, five uh, fields in array. In here we can see the function block Microsoft SQL uh, which is basically used for all communication uh, between your PLC and SQL Server. So here in PLC PRG We can see uh, predefined. We can see predefined uh, values for basic use. So IP address, port, timeout for communication, uh, name of host name of your PLC, how you want to call it uh, on SQL Server, username, password, database where you want to connect, activation number if you decide to buy this library. You will need it. There is a, a structure for array of structure for uh, query in string. Here is a trigger for connect, trigger for disconnect, trigger for execute SQL. Here is a structure with uh, all responses from SQL Server. Here is a string for status. And here is a string for error messages. If you are successfully connected, you can see connected successfully. A login failed. Uh, execute SQL error means. If you have some issue in 
uh, in command you will uh, get this error and also error message from Microsoft SQL Server if your command was executed ok you will receive this here you will get if your insert or uh, update command uh, made some rows or some select uh, here uh, there is a double word value with error which are mentioned in user uh, manual so I will compile it compile it so now I'm able to connect to, to this PLC so login press alt F yes um, I want to log in yes okay so PLC is installed I will put it to start and these fields are empty but to make it easier I created uh, the visualization where we can easily change everything and see how it works so I will put the IP address of the SQL server with all necessary permission Sometimes it seems to be quite slow, even on fast computer. Okay. And here we need to say which database we want to connect to which database. So press connect and now we are successfully connected and here I can show you there is a query which I want to call and I want to get this data. It means there is a five columns and three rows so I will easily copy it, put it to query zero and press execute. You can see that uh, in a response we cannot see uh, we received zero row zero columns and zero rows was affected and press execute and here few things changed now we can see that we read uh, from the server three rows five columns and there is a name of the columns and if we want to if we want to uh, convert the values we will easily say value from first row first column and it's bool so we get false if we will uh, choose value from row 2 oh, come on yeah it's blue and if I will change the column to column 2 I can see the string hello YouTube which is also here second row second column third column will be get dint and fourth column is a real value and fifth column is again double integer and if you made some mistake in, uh, in the query let's say we will delete few names of it and press execute we will get error SQL error occurred unclosed quotation mark after character string t which means that this message was directly from SQL it's not uh, made by my library and also the read data are, are cleared <coughs> but, 
test. Now will be everything okay? No. Test out. PLC. Now, yeah, it worked. So we can go back here and we can see that uh, command was executed ok, row done, no error and here are here is the calling of the functions and this library will run for two hours without any limitation it's trial and if you want to buy it you have to order it from the web page plc to sql.com thanks for watching and see you at the next video.